So I have a correction that you guys need to make to the mob farm. It's a basic one, it's a simple one, but let's go over it. So the problem we were having were Endermen were spawning and they were spawning out on this top level. I checked with some uh, tech friends of mine and this is what I was told and it did fix the problem. So what you guys are gonna need to do is you're actually gonna need to add one more layer of leaves above on the top and fill that in with water. So you're gonna add in another layer of water above um, then you're going to go down here. Hopefully I can get in. Yes, I can. Awesome. Um, and then what you're actually going to do is you're going to raise on, on your current farm right now. This is all leaves. You need to raise that layer of leaves up by one. And then you need to put in bottom half slabs throughout that whole layer. Not top half slabs. Make, make sure they're bottom. Um, the game has like a little bug in it when it tries to spawn Enderman. So it was spawning the Enderman on the uh, platform there. Um, it was ignoring the scaffolding, which is fine. It was ignoring the water, which it's not supposed to do. They're not supposed to be able to spawn in water at all. And then it was also ignoring the leaves above their head. So they were spawning with their heads in the leaves, their body in the water, and their, their feet down on the ground right here. And they would instantly teleport down to the uh, platform below. So it's not too bad of a fix, just a little bit of modification to the roof raise this level up one raise this level up one and put bottom half slabs where the leaves used to be and you'll be all good to go hey everybody prow here and welcome to another episode on the bedrock guide and i think you guys know where we're headed and that place is the mob farm and looks like a creeper farm right now we got all these creepers over here which is awesome but we don't want to kill the creepers and the other mobs simply by swinging our sword. So what we actually need to set up is called a trident killer. So it's uh, it's dawned on me that while I've been using these for probably almost two years now, um, a lot of people still don't know what a trident killer is. And the main reason why that is is probably because Java Edition Minecraft doesn't have it. So if you watch you know awesome series like Legacy or Hermitcraft, you would never know anything about a trident killer. Odds are probably most, if not all those guys don't know what a trident killer is or that it exists at all. Um, so let's talk about the trident killer before we start making it. Cause I 100% promise you, if you don't know what a trident killer is, this will change your life. So rather than sitting here and killing mobs manually, uh, which uh, hurts the durability on your sword, you have to physically be sitting here to do it unless you have some type of ability to set up some type of macro to automatically swing your sword or something like that. Um, this method, this method's not really preferred, right? It's This is the old school, non-technical way of doing it. So what a trident killer can do is actually uses a series of pistons to move a trident around on the floor, kind of in a circular-like pattern. And when you throw the trident on the ground, the game actually, until you pick it up, it still considers it to be an active weapon, an actively thrown trident that can hurt like a mob or whatever. So you throw the trident down on the floor, the pistons move the trident around, and every time it moves, it hurts the mobs that it comes in contact with and it kills them. That kill counts as you being a being the one that kills the, the mob. So a couple things happen. You get mob dropped base loot, like armor and weapons and stuff like that. Um, you get the experience points from it and you get the mending from it and if you have a looting three sword like I have here, you get the uh, looting effect from it as well. And to address the comment of the day, I'm actually going to go over a handful of comments of the same thing, which were people recommending to use magma blocks instead of campfires. Um, you, you actually, it, it sounds like good advice, but you actually cannot do this. I'm, I'm referencing this to the mob farm in the last episode. It doesn't work. The reason why it doesn't work is the spiders, when the trident killer is going around and the um, the pistons interact with the spider, it makes the spiders jump. When the spiders jump, they are able to climb the magma blocks, whereas otherwise you're right, they would not. When they climb the magma blocks, that of course makes the farm less efficient. On the version with the campfires, what happens is they jump and they don't climb. And then on top of that, on the rare instance that they jump or something happens and they glitch into the wall, they just burn up on the campfire. No problem at all. 
So the campfires are definitely the way to go. Don't go the magma cube route, the magma cube, magma block route, because unfortunately it's not gonna work as good as what you would hope it would. All of those things are leading to one point. They make any mob based farm. So a mob farm, a creeper farm, a, um, a raid farm, a guardian farm, all of these different things. If you have a trident killer hooked up to it, it makes it 100% AFK, meaning I can leave my computer, Xbox, mobile phone, whatever running overnight, and it will constantly be killing the mobs, and you are gonna be constantly getting loot, and that is what we're looking for today. This is pretty easy to set up, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple ways to do it. So your first step to building one of these guys, a trident killer, is you need something to use it on. So again, a mob farm of any sort is kind of what you're looking for here. Anywhere where you need to kill mobs that are automatically being brought into an area is gonna be necessary. Next is you need a way to funnel the mobs. So you'll have to have water in some way, shape or form, moving mobs into a two by two hole. And then last, you're gonna need a drop shoot, a place to drop the mobs down and place them in an area where the tridents can kill them. Now. You don't have to do like fall damage, like dropping to them. It's not really required to bring them down to a low health unless you're going to have a farm that pumps out a ton of mobs. I have such a farm, but not yet. That'll happen later in the season. For now, a farm like this, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. Although for this one, I did because of how far away we need to like stand away from the platforms to spawn them in anyways. So for the most part, they're like a one or two punch kill. They're definitely a one hit kill for a trident or a sword or something like that. Now, I need to actually kind of shut this thing off, so to speak, or block it off. That way the mobs can't get in here while we are doing our thing. And my first step is I need to take out like all of the stuff that we have here, but only only two layers of it, only these top two layers, just so I can kind of get in and start working with things. Um, also, I'm going to take out the hoppers that are down below because we're not going to have hoppers down there. And I'll take out a few of the chests and I'll, I'll leave a couple of them just to like keep the storage in that's already in there. Um, keep in mind that for our storage, what we're going to do, did I, I don't remember if I said this in an episode on stream, I might have just said this on stream, um, is we're actually not going to build the storage system in this episode. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do not just a regular item sorter for this. We're going to do an item sorter shulker loader system. I'm not going to go over that a whole lot today, but basically takes items, sorts them and puts them into an automatic shulker loader. And then we will go over what that is and how that works probably in the next episode. And we're very simply just going to start this out by filling in the floor. This is where our mobs are gonna like fall down and eventually get killed. And then we're gonna come below the farm and we're gonna come down one, two, right beside this platform. And this is the direction that a hopper is gonna face in. So keep that in mind, wherever you're gonna be running your storage to, place the hopper down and facing in whatever direction that is. For me, I don't really, I guess that's the short side, it's the long side. So we'll probably, we're gonna change this. There we go. We are on, we're on the, the longer side now, which I think fits what I'm trying to do a little bit better. I can't get on that. So let me go place the block there. Now I can't get up there either. Of course, I'm going to block myself in. And now we're going to have the hopper face into there. I need to go up another block and we are going to take a rail. It doesn't have to be a powered rail. It just happens to be what I have to use. Put a rail there, put a hopper minecart right here, knock out the rail. Don't. Don't knock out the hopper my cart. Knock out the rail. There we go. It could be hard to do what you need to do. You'll see on my screen, you, you have a, like a little selection box or whatever you're pointed at. You wanna make sure that you are pointed at the rail only and just swing one time and we're good now. And then we're gonna block this thing the rest of the way off. So I'm gonna put one here, one here, and one here. That way nothing can possibly move my hopper my cart just in case like I don't know, somehow, some way a spider gets down here for some reason, he'll climb up there and he'll knock it out and that'd be really annoying. We can knock that block out and now we're good. What this is gonna do is it's gonna, the hopper minecart can actually pick up stuff from above. So see, I'm throwing these in, that's being picked up by the hopper minecart. So what'll happen is as our, as our mobs get killed, they'll get sucked into that hopper minecart and into the hopper. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock out these blocks going around the, the Trident Killer like killing floor area just like that. One row of blocks, knock them out. We're good. They're gone. And we're going to put in our bits and pieces here that are going to power the Trident Killer. So let's go ahead and let's grab Observers. And then let's grab, oh, I need, I don't need, no. And I need redstone dust. The next, I'm going to fill in going around this thing. Although technically you only need to fill in the corners. But just because it'll be easier for me to get the blocks in the corners. I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put the blocks all the way around it. If I don't fall down again, apparently that's going to be a common theme for this uh, Bedrock Guide episode. So we got these corners filled in. Now... If you want your trident killer to go extra fast, you're going to put powered rails in those spots. In each one of the spots in the corners, just like right there, 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 and there. I actually don't want this one to go really fast because if it moves too fast, the spiders get stuck on top of the pistons and they never fall down and die. So powered rails actually fire off faster for whatever reason they update faster than redstone dust so what we're going to do is we're going to put redstone dust in each of the corners just like this to slow the system down just enough to make this thing work then we're going to take our observers we're going to make them look at the redstone dust how does it look at the redstone dust like that okay so there 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 and there I'm gonna need a few more blocks here. Let's see, it doesn't necessarily matter. I guess let's just, for continuity's sake, let's craft a few more stone bricks. And then I'm gonna wanna put a stone brick here, here, here. And before I put this one here, for those of you that don't know how observers work, they're gonna see an action occur. And then whenever they see something happen, they send a redstone signal out the back, out this little butt part right here, out the butt of the observer. Um, and then that's gonna send power to this block. It's gonna make this block get powered. That's gonna power and turn on this redstone dust, which this observer is gonna see. And it's gonna create this chain where it goes around, around, around in circles. I can demonstrate this very simply by coming in, taking this out, putting it back down, and you're gonna see the signal is going around in circles. It's gonna keep going around and it'll go around forever until we turn this off, which I'll show you guys how to do that here in just a second. But that takes care of that part. We actually need pistons now. And I have some already crafted up, just regular pistons. You don't need sticky pistons or anything like that. And we're gonna face them in this kind of like star-like pattern. So I'm gonna put one here, 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 and here. Now you see, I got a circular pattern happening here. You know what I don't have happening here? I just realized I don't have a trident. I need to go get a trident. Platform Blue here Jay. and oh, oh, we've Blue got Jay, imposters. We got imposters. Oh, no, no, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I'm Are here you? to help. Yes. Um, have ye seen any pirates, undead pirates down in the water with tridents? No, but you got to go swab the deck really quick. Get going. Captain's it, orders. It, it looks, it looks kind of nasty. I think I'll stay Bop away from the plank. Ah! <laughs> I'm overboard help actually this is where I want to be so I'm looking for I'm looking for these guys and I'm assuming since you've been around here working you probably have a lot of the drowned around do you mind if I do you mind if I take care of this problem for you while I try to you find know, a trident those undead pirates are a little bit annoying so you you can clear these waters and I would be more than happy with that okay I will charge you 50 gold doubloons for this what just hit me ah he's got a trident get over here Bye, Prowl. Don't die. <sighs> he didn't drop it. All right. I'll be down here for a little while. Have fun. So we're going to make Blue Jay an offer that he can't refuse. For the services of eliminating dozens of filthy minions from the depths of Davy Jones' locker, you owe Prowl 50 gold doubloons or a two times multiplier in the next resource roulette. Your pick. All right. Blue Jay. Hey, I, nice trident, I, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. I did finally get one down there. Um, I got I got a couple things for you, okay? So first Ooh, of all, okay. um, as a uh, thank you for letting me uh, kill those guys and get a trident. Every oh. pirate ship needs a treasure map, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Number where's the where's the treasure? Did you already find it, or do I have to find it myself? No, yeah, that's a fresh treasure map. I don't I haven't oh, yeah. looked at that one. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Number number two. 
um you can have that that's for um the services that i've performed number three here's a fire resist potion i hear that you die a lot to fire and lava you could use that thanks goodbye all right so now that we are back from messing around with blue jay a little bit let's take this to the next level we need to go ahead we can just add in our trident now so let's go ahead and let's throw this guy in as you see there it's getting pushed around that's what's going to kill our mobs and i would like to have a way to stop this thing so it's actually super easy to do all you need to do is you need to power any of the redstone bits so i could do that by either filling in any of these corners and putting a um a lever like say right here it's going to keep that open but it's going to stop the circuit which is fine and then when you flip the switch back off it allows the system to keep going nice 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 and easy um, next we kind of need to fill this back in let's get our corners filled back in and then we're going to need to fill in a couple more couple more things here so that way you guys can get your xp and easily use the farm um, I'm recording this bit a little bit later in the video because I want to make a correction uh, to, oh gosh, um, how do I, I need to fix that. Um, I want to make a correction to the trident killer here, a small one, but it's something right here at the bottom. Um, I found that spiders, they, they didn't used to be able to glitch through, but they can glitch through now uh, through the campfires or through the glass blocks on the bottom. So what you need to do is just go ahead and add in campfires on this level right here. Oh, I got to get, did he blow up? I don't, I don't think he blew up. I think we're good. Um, add in campfires at this uh, layer, like head level right here would be good. And then also go ahead and surround these bottom two levels with any solid block all the way around. And that will keep your spiders from being able to glitch out through the walls. Also, um, you'll see how I modified the experience gathering area here. I got a slab there. I got, I put a slab right here as well. Can I grab it back? Yes, I can. Um, and I still get the experience fine and I can AFK right here. Doing those two things has fixed all of the problems with the farm. The uh, change to the ceiling up there and then the change to this part right here. And our method of doing that is going to be these trap doors. So we're going to put one there, one here. And we're going to do this on all four sides. That way, pretty much no matter where we are, we'll be able to pretty easily gather the XP. This will keep the mobs out and as a added bonus it'll also allow us if for some reason we need to like pick up the trident or something like that we can we can just kind of like go forward we'll get close enough to pick it up we could throw a new one down no problem and then also i think i have some extra glass which we could go ahead and just put that on top of these pistons it gives us that like nice view of like what's going on in here because again i just kind of like seeing these things happen <laughs> it's fun to me so uh we'll kind of stick with that and i don't think any more block placement here is needed now we need to do a couple final things before we are done with this um also stick around because i'm going to be revealing what it is i'm going to be doing to decorate this area and we're going to be starting a little bit of that now if you're the type to not care about the the big fancy sorting system and all of that um you can just do what i did here which is i just simply threw in a whole bunch of hoppers a hopper line they get stuck down into the hoppers it pushes the items unsorted into the chests so as we get this thing going it'll just it'll just fill this in but it's going to be a big mess if you're looking for an item sorter and you don't want to do the shulker box loader go back to my item sorter episode um, a little bit earlier in the season i'll try to remember to put a link to it um, on the screen for you guys but go back to that episode and there's a super good easy item sorting system that you can use down here for that um, but now I think we're good to turn this on and then we're going to, we're going to get into the theme of this place. Here's our mobs. Let's go ahead and let's drop these guys down, these guys down, these guys down and the rest of them down. And then we can take ourselves down here. We're going to turn this thing on and with a little bit of luck, no luck at all. We, sh we have a working trident killer. It'll take a short moment to clear these first ones out just because we stacked them all in there. Not too long though. Um, once I get some more tridents, I can throw a few more. It'll kill these guys down a little bit quicker, which will be good. But even with just one in here, honestly, it'll it'll serve its purpose pretty well because it'll kill them pretty much as they fall. And then I can just kind of stand kind of close right here and all the experience will come through the trap door to me. No problem. 
Um, this trident, by the way, it does not take durability damage, so you can leave it in there forever. It will not get destroyed or damaged in any way, shape, or form. And we should be having some new spawns coming in, so we just kill all those. Yep, here we go. They're dropping in. And as you see, the trident killer is doing its work. You have to have one of these in your world if you're playing on Bedrock. If you're playing on Java, I'm sorry you don't have it. Maybe try creating a, uh, a feedback post for uh, Mojang to add it into Java Edition. I would definitely back you on that because I think you guys in Java need it too. All right. And while we let this thing run, let's talk about the theme that we're going to use for this. And I don't know. I'm not going to 100% to commit to completing it immediately. I need to figure out a good timeline to complete this thing, whether I'm going to do it as an entire like episode or whether it's going to be like filler for a lot of other episodes. We'll see. We'll see. But the theme of this, if you can imagine with me for just a few moments, it's going to be a floating island down here with a medieval keep tower type thing that is on it. So I think it'll look, I think it'll look really cool. I could just leave this just like this and it would be fine, honestly, because this isn't anywhere close to where my main base is going to be, which we're going to be touching on that pretty soon too. Um, how, excuse me. How did you get out? Are all these closed? I'll have to, I'll have to take a look at that and see. I probably shouldn't have a whole bunch of these. I should probably only have one. Um, but yeah. I'm pretty excited about how this thing can potentially look and I would rather have a completed build around it rather than not have one. So it's not going to be close to the main base. I don't have to do a completed build around it, but I don't want to leave anything incomplete in the series, at least as much as I can help. So that's what we're going to do. But we are not going to be doing that in this episode. I may do it in a future episode, although I actually I've already I've recorded this after the fact. I've already done some of it, got it started in stream. This may be a stream project, so check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash prowl underscore 8413. Don't forget the underscore. A lot of crazy things happen there, including the fact that they've stuck me with an infinity bow. This, this thing is terrible. It's awful. I can't kill anything with it because it's an infinity bow. It's not a mending bow. But in any event, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, I'll see you on Twitch as well. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Let's get rid of that.